Let's uh, watch this, bitches. Yeah. I watched a lot. I can see this. There's a long list. Mm -hmm. So you didn't think that the Titans finale was uh, disappointing? It's not that I didn't. It was fun. It wasn't great, I think, was the problem. I think there have been there was some greatness this season. Yes. Uh, generally speaking, it yes. was a ve- it was a overall a great season. Yes. So when it doesn't end on a you know on a high note of right. an episode, yeah. it f- it's always going to feel more disappointing than it really was. Fine. I don't. We don't need to say anything more about Titans. But I thought that I thought that it was <laughs> it was a pretty lame episode. It wasn't great, and that's the problem. I don't think it was the worst episode. I I had fun making fun of it with Mrs. Cheapy while we were watching it. So I made fun of it. I made fun of it to you on the, the the text message right how come nobody wears belts on that show or well, the men do not wear belts in dress situations oh i don't know do they at least wear undershirts i couldn't tell but like okay. like hawk you know hawk yes yeah, so he's supposed the, to be the worst like character on the show yeah right he know he dresses you know he's not like a, a fashionable guy he's like the opposite of that yeah, you he's know, a slob. Blue collar <laughs> slob, I guess you would say. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and dresses as you would expect. But they had some, in the finale, there's a special event that they go to. And now he's dressed like, you know, like a stylist uh, that he has as a personal stylist, including no belt, like dress pants with no belt, which is like, you know, only a stylist would tell you to do that in, the, in a situation like this. It just, it's ridiculous. Anyway. What else we have? Oh, how about the the Irishman? Anybody watch the Irishman on Netflix? Uh, you, you know the thing is, you know, it, even though I was stuck with the family in the house, I can't watch the Irishman. Too with violent. The family. It's too violent, and it's three and a half hours long. So, so I saw I, a, I saw a tweet where a guy broke broke it down into four episodes and okay. told you like the timestamps to. I saw that too. Is that what I need to do? Or should I just do that? Well, we watched the we went to the first timestamp. Okay. And then we decided we probably don't need to watch any more of the movie. <laughs> gotcha. Wait, 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 you're saying that it's not like Marvel movie good? I'm saying that it looks like they don't even have like the CG at the level of the Marvel movies because they try to like de-age all the yes, actors. Yes, that I know. Mm-hmm. And it, they, eh, it's very distracting to me. And like at some points, like Joe Pesci's head looks like it's not really attached to his neck. It looks like, uh, like Jib Jab. You know, like mm. those fake cards, those internet greeting cards. Yep. And like, De Niro, I guess, and I, I guess they changed De Niro's eye color in the movie. I knew, noticed that his eyes looked really weird, and then I read that they changed his eye color. It's just not necessary. And then you wonder if even the movie's necessary because you've seen a lot of these the movies with these actors before. So I'd be surprised if we watched the last <laughs> three the, hours. The rest of the three hours of the movie. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't do much for me. And and Al Pacino as Jimmy Hoffa, I mean, he I only made it for maybe he was in about five minutes of what we saw. I don't think I could take much more of that. It's he's the like the hoo ha guy from Scent of a Woman, but Jimmy Hoffa. He is the hoo ha guy from Scent of a Woman. No, but I mean he's like yelling <laughs> like that guy. Like it's just like he's acting like that. Guy. Yeah, I kept waiting for him to say she's or she's, she's got a great ass. Like what's happening? These gotcha. guys, yeah, I, we must have been a lot of money for all of them. I watched some movies. That's not that wasn't in that movie. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh. I was moving us along. Okay, go. What else you got? You know what was surprisingly funny? Like legitimately, I laughed out loud like three times. Three is not a lot. Oh, when I tell you what the movie is, you'll be like, "Wow, that's impressive." It was Angry Birds too? Oh, I thought you were gonna say Schindler's List. Yeah. I watched Angry Birds too. Elliot really wanted to see it. Like he's been begging for it, and uh-huh. it was cheap, so I bought it for him because he helped me clean up the dead bird in the backyard, and <laughs> and uh, so we watched Angry Birds too. And there were some parts in it where I'm like, "This is surprisingly funny." Did you use so, the dead bird as a prop while you were watching the movie? To well, I did. Him? Yeah, we held it over. Like, look, it's like real live Angry Birds, and then we <laughs> ripped it at the TV. The, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. No, it was. It's cute. It's. Uh, it's. You know. It's more angry words but if you have like if, you, if you're forced to watch a movie with the kids and it's got to be something you want something different and new yep i would actually recommend angry birds too can it can i start at the second one or do i need to it's, know what happened in the first one you kind of need to know what happened in the first one for it to make any sense 
but it's so, better than so the first I'm one. Into, I'm into Irish man levels of length. You might actually know yeah. you're, <laughs> you're actually still less. You're still <laughs> under Irishman length, but you do need to see the first time you birds to understand the second one. Although I think you might figure it out. I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, got else? the birds. It's got the pigs. It's funny. Uh, there's a there on Netflix. There's a series, a sitcom called Merry Happy Whatever. That's one of the things we watched when everyone was sick. It's the new Dennis Quaid sitcom. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, you know Dennis Quaid, a list movie star. He has a sitcom on uh, on Netflix now. On Netflix, okay. And it's only eight episodes. They're a half hour each. It all takes place during a 10 day period right around Christmas where, you know, the, the hippie musician boyfriend with his cute girlfriend go to visit her dad and her dad is Dennis Quaid and he's a conservative cop in Philadelphia. And there's like a whole bunch of family and it's, and it was, it's a cute show. It happens to be, it's cute. It's funny. It has heart. It moves, it moves quickly. Like I said, it's, you know, it's eight half hour episodes. It's a good binge. Um, it has the most product placement I've ever seen in any show in my entire life. Oh, not more than an Adam Sandler movie. It's bananas. Maybe, maybe it's like the scene in Wayne's world, you know, with the pizza hot box. There's a scene in the show because, you know, there's Pepsi everywhere. Pepsi clearly is paying for this. Yes. You know, this episode, Dennis Quaid goes to the bar and he doesn't drink alcohol because he doesn't. And right. he goes, I'll have a Pepsi. And uh-huh. the bartender says, oh, we only have Coke. And he goes, ew, Coke. If you don't have Pepsi, I'll just have a water. And I'm, I'm sure that's not just a bad joke. I, it, no, that is a commercial in the middle of a show <laughs> with no commercials. Have you seen that Adam Sandler movie? I think it's the one where he plays his own sister and Al Pacino's in it and he gets Al Pacino to do oh, the Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, yeah full fledged Dunkin' Donuts. But you know what? That's that's part of the plot and it's funny. But it's it's the only funny part of that movie. How did they get Al Pacino to do it? I mean Because it's funny. It seems degrading to me. This is like you're not supposed to pick up on the fact that they're doing it. But it becomes so obvious that it became like a game within the show. Uh huh. Was that to point fun. out the products, like, oh look, look, there's they actually have market pantry products. There's Target. They're doing Target net in this episode. Nice. So, <laughs> on the what episode was that? Yeah, exactly. You would like it. You <laughs> shipwreck. You would like this show. It's a very shipwreck show. You should watch it. I I'm recommend not, it. I'm not. It's not a cheap. I do show. love product placement. <laughs> you like I it's you know it's something you and your wife would like. Mm-hmm. I don't, don't think I don't think Cheapy and his wife would like it cuz that you know it's yeah. We're pagans. it's not it's not heady enough for them. Right, no one yeah. dies. Right. So um I now. did you know what you would like Cheapy though is Britney runs a marathon. Britney That's Spears? That's a movie. No, um oh. what's her name? Oh, I forgot the Jillian Bell. That's the actress. She's uh an overweight woman living in Manhattan. And she, you know, doesn't know what she's going to do with her life. And she decides to start running what to, like, like just clear her head. Why would I like and... this? Why would I like this? Because it's about someone who gets their life in order and gets into shape. And I it's a like cute that. comedy. And it's, yeah. Huh? How much karate? Like it. How much karate it's, is in that? There's no karate in it. It's <laughs> just a, it's a small independent movie with no special effects. <laughs> and uh, how much sex is in it? There's there is a sex scene or two, okay. but no like hardcore sex scenes. Well, I yeah. would imagine there wouldn't yeah, be just like basic, mm. basic sex scene. Missionary, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Lots of missionary. That was the original title. Lots of missionary. No, uh-huh. it's a cute movie. You would like it. It's on Amazon Prime. Uh, okay. Hmm. So go watch that. What did you watch, Shipwreck? I I went to see uh, Disney Junior Holiday Party. How was that? It, it was it was fun. It had all my Disney Junior characters that I know and love, <laughs> like, like singing, like Mickey like Mouse? like like uh, Minnie Mouse was there. Yes, mm-hmm. we got to meet Minnie Mouse at the after party. Nice. Um, her and Mickey and Santa were all there. Um, it's a I, you guys don't watch Disney Junior, so <laughs> no man, you, you don't even know who these characters are. Not Bingo, anymore. Yeah, Bingo and Rolly. Nope. Good. 
that they they are the puppy dog pals. They uh they sing they fill the Jewish portion of the show. Oh, they're Jewish. Uh, uh maybe. Well, for the show they are. For <laughs> they're they, they they're have, Jewish interested. They sing about latkes. They got to make the latkes. Mm, I love latkes, so I'm on board. And then uh, I, all you guys do is sing about the dreidel, right? Like that's the whole holiday, pretty much. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, and gifts. Yeah. They they sing the dreidel song as well. Nice. As well, sounds like they've got everything covered. Uh huh. Those are the bases. Yeah. Potatoes and dreidels. I, I, <laughs> Disney puts on good shows, so they know how to. If, if you have kids of the appropriate age, and and they watch Disney Junior. Uh, they they play all the hits as well as Christmas music. <laughs> I'm trying to do, like Choo Choo Soul. Do they still have no, that? No, no. Uh, Sorry. S- you, you said you said that like I was offending you. Yeah. No, well, that is that's that is that is really old. like Sophia is the oldest that you would go. with? I am familiar with Sophia the first. Do- yeah. Doc McStuffins. Yep, I'm familiar. Those with are Doc the two McStuffins. characters in the show whose shows have been canceled. Mm. So, hmm. um, yeah, you. Goofy was there. You like you know him? I know Goofy. He plays okay. sports. The Muppet Babies, but not the Muppet Babies you know. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. It was a good time. Excellent. Should check it out if it comes to a city New Year. Uh, I'm glad I'm. Don't have to check that out. Maybe it's playing on Broadway. Mm. Yep. <laughs>